Hi everyone, this is David from Daedalus. Um, here's how you unpack your migrating sparrow. Um, it comes in a really nice hard travel case. The latches are really tight, and so it might help to set a knee on the corner or even sit on the corner and undo your latches. That definitely helps when you're closing it back up. And this is what we have. The manual, I highly suggest that you read through this first. I know nobody ever really does. But at least on the first page, there's a QR code here for all of our videos uh, for how to set the Sparrow up and how to operate it. And so you'll definitely want to check those out as well. The journal. So this is where you'll kind of keep a little record of some of the spins that you do and uh, be able to post some pictures in. And this is what we have. We'll start out in the upper right-hand corner here. Uh, this is the fiber that comes with the wheel. There's two ounces of it here, and there's actually two ounces uh, in with the wheel itself to kind of make the space work out. This is a four-ounce braid in total. Um, if you choose to spin it, please replace it with 100% sheep's wool only in a resealable plastic bag. We do that to uh, try to keep uh, the chances of an allergic reaction somebody who, uh, who gets it down the road from you. So everybody just stick with wool. Underneath the fiber, we have the battery. And so this is the Daedalus battery. And there's all types of information about it in the manual, so I won't bother you with it now. Underneath the battery is the Bluetooth Canon IV printer. So this is a small little thermal color thermal printer that you can connect uh, to any mobile device, your phone, your tablet, or anything like that. So any pictures that you take, if you're outside or traveling or the projects that you're working on with the wheel, you can take pictures of. And these are adhesive pictures. Each person gets uh, one pack of pictures, which is, uh, I think, 10 sheets. And so you can take up to 10 photos that you can then add into the journal. And here is a QR code that'll take you to a YouTube video that explains exactly how to use and recharge the printer, how to load paper in it, and how to connect it to your phone. Bottom right corner, we've got the electrical stuff. And so first and foremost, this is the AC power adapter that, uh, that runs the wheel itself. So off your wall. The bigger brick here is your battery charger. So this plugs into the side of the battery in order to charge it. The very bottom, we have some cables. One cable is for the battery. And so it's got a male and a male on each end. And so that's specifically to connect the battery to the speed controller when you're running off battery. And this is an extension cable that can be used in either case, whether you're using the battery or the wall adapter, this will get you, I think, uh, six feet further away. So I think you got about nine feet total. And the last thing in this little well is your spares kit. So we send all types of spares, spare drive belts, hook tools, a wrench, spare bearings, grommets, uh, brake bands, cinches, springs, I think that's about it. More than you should ever need. Okay, down this middle section, we have the bobbins. And so I'll talk about the one that's in the Ziploc bag first. And we have it in a Ziploc bag because it's the community bobbin. And so the community bobbin project, everybody spends five grams of 100% sheep's wool onto this bobbin. And as it passes from person to person, uh, that way the, the bobbin will be a collection of, of everybody's stuff and then we'll be able to do like a really nice project or something at the end and there are three bobbins for your personal use and so we've got two empty bobbins here and one on the wheel in this corner we have the speed controller it just kind of slides in here And then the back corner, save the best for last, the wheel itself. Um, you'll notice the flyer is sideways with the fiber inside of it. And uh, if for some reason, when you're packing it back up, you would definitely want the flyer to be level. Uh, but the easiest way to lift it out, I know it, you want to use this like a handle, but it doesn't work out because it's a, it's, it's a magnetic retention system here in the back. So the easiest way to get the wheel out is to slide your hands in the sides and underneath the wheel and then just lift straight up. There we go. And so we're all unpacked. Uh, we can slide the other two ounces of fiber out, read our manual, 
hook up our wall adapter, check the alignments of the belts and the, the drive belt and the tension belt, and get to spinning. Thank you very much.